Hello, welcome back to the course Basic Signal Processing. Let us continue from where we left in the last video. Uh, so, one of the important aspects of matrix, matrix theory, is usage of matrix for representing linear system of equations or linear algebraic equations. So, if we consider a linear algebraic equation uh, which is of the form a11 x1 plus a12 x2 uh, where x1 x2 are the variables till a1n xn uh, is equal to b1 so this being equation number 1 and this being equation number n so uh, that is we have n number of equations for n different variables that is a consistent uh, system of equations what we can call as uh, now if they are linearly uh, are correlated with each other then a compact form of representation of these uh, system of equations can be in the form of matrix so for this we need to have the knowledge of matrix multiplication which we did in the uh, previous video if you have not gone through the previous video it is only a few uh, minutes so it would be worthwhile for you to revisit that video and come back uh, so that you can understand how uh, this uh, linear equations uh, which are of the form a11 x1 plus a12 x2 so on is equal to b1 how they can be changed to uh, into matrix form because changing them into matrix form uh, has a uh, advantage uh, with respect to computation that is you can easily represent it as a series of numbers in a computer and then uh, use various matrix uh, computations or uh, what do you say processing using matrix to get desired results or the uh, solutions right so that gives the greatest advantage of representing into matrix form so let us uh, see how we can convert this into a matrix form. So for this, a uh, slight knowledge about column vector is required, so which we did it in the first video. So I would ask you to uh, visit the first video, which is hardly a few uh, minutes, to, to know more about uh, column vector and row vectors. Right? Moving ahead, how can we convert this system of equations into a matrix? Uh, form representation a compact form representation right so here uh, in this slide you will see that i have only picked up the uh, equations and now if i just pull out uh, the coefficients or the constants of the variable into one row that is to say uh, let me make it as a matrix and let me take a11 a12 so on till a one n as one of the rows of a matrix a square matrix to say of order n cross n it means i need n columns which is clearly denoted by this n here and n rows which i can go with a to one a to two that is the coefficients of the second linear equation right till a to n and so on and coming to the nth equation a n 1 a n 2 so on till a n n so this completes my square matrix of order n cross n which is comprised of the coefficients of each individual equation hope you are with me here that is each individual coefficient becomes one of the elements of the of this matrix and they make an n cross n square matrix for representation purpose. now let me pull out the variables now if you observe from this linear system of equations x1 x2 x3 so on till xn it is n variables of x that is to say if i if i represent that as a column vector i will have 
x1 as the first element, x2 as second element, so on till xn, and that will be my n cross 1 matrix. And as I mentioned in the previous video, we can write this as product of two matrices that is uh, the n cross n matrix here which has coefficients and the n cross 1 matrix here which is a variable can be multiplied and only can be multiplied if they conform to the dimension rules that is the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to number of rows in the second which it satisfied and hence we can multiply these two matrices now let me check what happens if I multiply the first row and first column of this matrix right these two matrices now as we saw with the matrix multiplication rule the corresponding coefficients have to be multiplied and summed with the next set of elements product that is a11 x1 and a12 x2 with a summation because matrix multiplication rule says that a12 x2 so on till a1 n x n which will be our left hand side of the first equation if you observe right so this representation is consistent now it should be equated to b1 right so now let me put it as a matrix b1 column matrix again or column vector so on till b n now if I have to check and uh, just for your information this is also n cross 1 matrix. Now just to check if this left hand side and right hand side can be equated I go back to the point of dimensional check or check using dimensions. Now uh, as we saw in the matrix multiplication the product matrix of two matrices will have a dimension equal to m cross p in our previous video that is n cross 1 in this video that is the number of rows in the first matrix and number of columns in the second matrix so which will turn out to be n cross 1 and mind you my right hand side is also n cross 1 so with respect to dimension that is correct so now when I multiply these two and write it as a matrix all set again till a n 1 x 1 plus a n 2 x 2 till a n n x n it turns out to be a beautiful column vector b1 b2 so on till b n so this matrix is represented as a, a and this as x and the right hand side matrix is taken as B. So your linear system of equations becomes a simple compact representation which has got a lot of mathematical computation advantages which we will go through in our subsequent classes or subsequent videos. Uh, but for now, how <coughs> a linear system of equations is converted into matrix form representation is clearly shown here. Um, it would be worthwhile for you to revise by re-looking re at the video uh, from the previous video and to this video. See it in continuity, then it will be easier to understand and also use it for your own advantage. Uh, let us go through functions of a matrix. Uh, the transpose of a matrix is a widely used representation of a matrix wherein the rows and columns are interchanged that is an m cross n matrix becomes uh, and the transpose of a m cross n matrix a is written as a transpose this notation is left intentionally so that it can be said while doing this uh, video and n cross a and the dimension of a t or a transpose is n cross m right for example if i take a matrix a is equal to same 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, our matrix multiplication matrix, we can use this or whatsoever. This uh, The dimension of this is 2 cross 3, 
and A transpose will be 1, 2, 3, the row getting converted into column and 4, 5, 6. So here we have 3 rows and 2 columns, right? The There is an interchange of rows and columns. This we call it as transpose of a matrix. A square matrix will have the same dimension like for example 2 cross 2 matrix when you take a transpose of this you will have a 2 cross 2 matrix but rows and columns will be interchanged and the transpose of the product of two matrices is not the same that is it is not ba transpose it is b transpose multiplied with a transpose please make note of this so ab transpose is equal to b transpose times a transpose that is a transpose is pre multiplied with b transpose or b transpose pre multiplies a transpose when you go for a b transpose right Another one important point in matrix is a determinant. Determinant of a n cross n square matrix is written as det a or it is also a common usage to use uh, the notation of the matrix in between two parallel lines so which makes it which or which is called as determinant a right and these are the elements please note Instead of square bracket, two straight lines are used which denote it as determinant, right? Uh, how to calculate a determinant of a matrix, square matrix? We will get to it shortly. But before that, let us see what is a minor of a matrix. So the minor of an element, A11, each element of a matrix will have a minor, that is, the element left and uh, the matrix elements left after removing the row and column of the matrix this makes it the minor of element a11 similar so m23 denotes minor of element 23 that is if we remove out the row and column of a23 so we will be left out with a11, A12, right, and A31, A32, right, and cofactor of this element A23 will be minus 1 times, right, minor of this element depending upon its position. So the plus 1 or minus 1 is taken into consideration, right. That is cofactor of an element. Let us not get into details of minor and cofactor at the moment. Let us see uh, how a determinant of a 3 cross 3 uh, square matrix is found. And then let us come back and visit the minor and cofactor of an element. So, as said, uh, doing is better learning. So, let me take a matrix, a simple matrix. 1, 2, 3, and 2, 1, 0, 3, 2, 4. Uh, I have taken smaller numbers to make it easy for calculation. So, let me take determinant of A, right? And I shall expand the determinant taking first row or considering first row elements as pivot elements please make note of the point it depends how we expand the determinant that is if i go with the first row then it will be plus minus plus let i will explain to you what is this plus minus plus and then we can go ahead and do the calculation right so if we are expanding using first row then plus minus plus will be the multiplying factors or multiplying signs and if you are going with the second row it will be minus plus minus and third row it will be again plus minus plus so let me expand using the first row that is i shall take plus one into the minor of this particular element that is one 
excluding this row and this column i am left with 1 0 and 2 4 that is 1 times 4 please make note of this and minus 2 times 0 that is 0 right and now i should take minus sign it will be minus 2 times again leaving this column and this row I am left with 2 times 4 that is 8 minus 3 times 0 that is 0 again and I have plus symbol now 3 times leaving this column and this row I have 4 minus 3 right now this is 4 and minus 2 times 8 and 3 times that would make it 7 minus 16 that is minus 9 so this would be the determinant value and please please note determinant is a scalar quantity and is defined For a square matrix, right? So in this case, viewers are suggested to expand the matrix using the third row and check if they get the same answer as minus nine. If we get, if you get different answer. Please do let know in the comments and we can discuss further or however you can contact me over the email id which is mentioned in the comment box and we can discuss it further of any queries thank you